this is Mandy from Life Your Way. I'm really excited to be participating in Project Simplify, hosted by Tish at SimpleMom.net. Each week, I'll be giving you a peek inside our spring cleaning process with a vlog that actually shows you how we tackle the hot spot of the week. This week, we're talking about kids' clothes and toys. And to start, I want to show you how we do our kind of seasonal rotating for our kids' clothes. Because we have four stair-step girls, the process can be really overwhelming, and so we've had to really simplify it. And the way I've done it is by assigning one bin to each size of clothes. I know that sometimes 2T fits 3T and 3T fits 4T and, you know, all that, but really we stick to, if it's your size, it goes in this box, and those are the only clothes that get unpacked for the season. I used to try to sort through and make sure we had every piece of item that fit everybody out, but it was just too much work and my boxes were so unorganized when it was time to switch them again. So what we do to start is I go through each box and hopefully it's fairly decluttered already um, from the last time I pack packed it up, but I see what we have and what we'll need and I make notes so that I know what we'll need to get. And I simplify that each year I become more committed to the fact that my kids need less clothes and so um, my goal this year is really seven to 10 play outfits because they do play outside a lot and often change twice a day. So seven to 10 play outfits and four or five nicer outfits for church, co-op, um, you know, field trips, that type of thing. This is really good timing for us because we do live in a Four Seasons area. And so um, we're switching out our clothes for the seasons as part of our spring cleaning, but it's also two of my daughters are ready to move up to the next size. So it just kind of works that every six months we switch out the clothes and adjust sizes as needed. So I'm gonna start and kind of give you a peek inside the process, and then I'll tell you a little bit more about what I've done at the end. So watch. So we have the most clothes in the smaller sizes just because we have had four girls and so so much has built up over time. What I've done is made three piles. The clothes I potentially like to keep, winter clothes that you know can be packed back away, and then clothes that I'm pretty sure I'll give away. So as I go through this pile again, I'll probably add some more to the giveaway pile just because she does not need 20 or 25 outfits at this point. She just needs the basics to play, go to church, um, you know, go out with the family and that's it. But she doesn't need this many. So I'm going to go through and sort through these again and see um, what we end up with. This year we'll actually have two daughters who wear the same size because our second and third daughter are really similar in size. And so um, I'm going to need more of those clothes and now I'm actually not sure that I'm going to have enough of that size just because I have cleaned them out over the years. So I may end up needing to buy a few more for the, the 4T size range um, just to make sure they have enough. But we'll see how that goes. I'll probably wait and see once the season gets underway. One thing I do always do is keep a couple outfits from the opposite season just for those, you know, anomaly days like when it's hot in the winter, or cold in the summer, um, just so they have something to wear. So I am keeping a couple pairs of pants or long sleeve shirts or sweatshirts out as well, even though I'm packing the rest up. So that's basically how I do it. I still have to pull out the winter clothes and go through and um, pack those away and keep a few out to, you know, go with these summer clothes. But mostly we're done. It's not too painful um, because I don't worry about what fits who. I just pull them out of the box and assume they fit. If I find out that something in here doesn't fit, we keep the boxes in a closet and I just have a basket that I put any clothes on top that aren't the right sizes so that I can re organize them next time. So that's how we do it. Um, thanks for stopping by and I hope you maybe learned a tip or trick that you can use when rotating your kids clothes as well. Thanks!